Okay, in this episode, we are going to probably join the Vagers. Um, the Swadians took Kuro, then the Kyrgyz Kanate took Kuro from the Kingdom of Swadia. Riv the Nords took Rivichag. So the Vagars only have Kudan left for a city. So they are pretty much the worst off out of everybody. Now we'll say the Kyrgyz Kanade lost Halmar. Uh, so, but they got Kuro. So they're still at four cities. And the um, Saranid Sultanate is at five cities. So let's see if we can tip the balances with the Vagars only having one city. King Yaraglek finally got out of jail. So let's go into the castle here. We approach the gates. We'll have to make our businesses later. Request entry. We'll lose some money here. But I'm not going to wait. Because the Vagars have been losing troops. Let's talk to King Yaraglek. He says, do I know you? And I'll just say my name is Tanmura at your service, sir. He says, I am King Yaraglek, the ruler of Kingdom of Vagars and the Lord of Slesk. That's uh, because he lost the city that he was over. So at least the king has a castle. And the kingdom of Vagars is not very big now. He says, your fame runs before you. Perhaps it is time that you sought a liege worthy of your valor. What is it? I've come to offer you my sword in vassalage, King Yaraglek. He says, you are known as a brave man at arms and a fine leader of men, Tamora. I shall be pleased to accept your sword into my service and bestow vassalage upon you if you are ready to swear homage to me. And uh, I'm ready to be in your kingdom, King Yaraglek. Good. Then uh, repeat the words of the oath to me. And uh, I will commit, presently anyway, to King Yaraglek's kingdom, the kingdom of Vagars. He said, King Yaraglek says, very well. You have given me your solemn oath, Tamora. May you uphold it always with proper courage and devotion. Let it be known that you are um, my vassal. I give you my protection and grant you the right to bear arms in my name. I shall not deprive you of your life, liberty, or properties, except by the lawful judgment of your peers or by the law and custom of the land. Furthermore, I give you the fief of Udiniad. All right, so Udiniad is what we will be over. So although we lose a business, we Odiniad will probably give us a village. Uh, with all its rents and revenues, he says you have done a King Yaraglek said of the Vagars, says you've done a wise thing, Tenmora. Serve me well, and I promise you will rise high. And I say thank you. So they're at war with Swadia and the Nords. He says, I have great hopes for you, Tamora. I know you shall prove yourself worthy of the trust I have placed in you.
All right. Let's go find where this uh, Udiniad is at. Oh. Wonderful. Uh, let's see who they are at war with. Factions, Kingdom of Vagars. They are at war with Swadia and the Nords. Uh, let's recruit some troops. We're at 57.30 for um, Denari. And I guess we should just continue to... Um, oh, yeah, let's go check our village out. Right in... Oh, it's being raided. Let's see if we can help the village. We only have 46 troops here. See who's raiding it. Seventy two men. He has eight Huskarls. You think 46 of us can defeat the 72? I'm not sure. Let's head out. We'll just have to practice on these smaller groups for now. Try to get up to 10,000 and form another business. Control space bar. You saw those 70 troops off in the distance. You think they're going to attack us? So the problem is not winning this. I think this should go okay. The problem is after this, one of the people my nation is at war with is uh, not far off. Do you see them? There they come. Notice the Vagar marksmen are killing three F1, F3. Oh, zero F1, F3. All right, I lost one recruit. Not too bad. Now he's chasing me. 
He's got two Huskarls. I will run. See if I can get away from him. That'll give me time to heal as well. Oh, I've been awarded the right to carry a banner. Which banner do I want to choose? Um, any of you know why at this point I got a banner? Um... There's a lot of banners here. If let's look at my renown is two o three and my honor is three. go to Kudan. It's the only city they have left. I think I'll go up to about 50 troops. I really need a faster horse. Let's check my inventory, uh, I mean the party. I can have up to 62. What I'll do is I'll go, you notice the message on the screen that says medium-sized group of enemies near Slesk Castle. I'm going to see if I can pick off a group near there. Let's see if we can get a decent horse here. My horse's speed is 27. These are speed 44 and 40. No, they're speed 45. His armor is 14, hit points 100. Uh, I'd like a good armor too. We'll get a horse somewhere else. All right, let's see if we can help the castle out. Um. Now, can you get troops out of a city, enemy patrol spotted near Uslam? Where's Uslam? So, Shapest is owned by an enemy now. Can I recruit people from there?
King Yaraglek only has 13 people. Let's let's go to select. Ninety nine troops. Four Nord Huskarls. Oh well, we're not. I don't think we're ready to do ninety nine yet. Sorry about that. Hopefully, uh, when I upload this, YouTube won't take down the video if that's uh, copyrighted. All right, so I need to bring at least 12 troops to the army, and I'm instructed to raise more if I can. All right, let's see if we can save King Yaroglek, shall we? He's got King Yaroglek prisoner. Let's try it. Do they have many horses? They certainly outnumber us two to one. You think we'll be able to defeat this?
All right, so we won. I don't have leather gloves, so I will put those on. That will help. That will increase my body armor. Sorry about the quiet. I was focused on the battle there. So what I'm going to do is um, heal up. And... Um, sort stuff. By the way, this is day 169, it looks like. Yep. And um, I am now part of uh, the Swadians, and I will work on stuff a little bit here. Thank you for watching.